Hey, what's up guys? I got a quick video for you guys today, and it's about the Blue Life Play. Now, I'll turn this over, you see the branding on the back right there. Got a little blue logo. Um, I just got this phone today. Actually, I got it yesterday because it's 3.20 in the a.m. in the morning, so. Um, but there was a few key features that I wanted to actually show you guys about this phone. Now, I didn't do an unboxing or anything like that because I didn't figure you guys would want to see it, but. If you go into the app drawer, one thing that I noticed right off the bat. It's not in alphabetical order, which kind of threw me off, but, I mean, it comes with a lot of apps. I kind of figured this would only come with, like, a few apps or something, but what this kind of reminds me of is MyUI. I don't know if you guys ever use MyUI, but this kind of reminds me of that. If you go into the music thingy, see, it just kind of looks like MyUI, doesn't it? I guess you guys can't really answer, but, like, just the feeling of it. And if we go over here and we go to settings... It just has a my UI kind of I mean like look and feel. That's kind of my opinion on this. Now it does have the torch, which again looks like my UI. Has the FM radio, like everything is just my UI esque kind of. And it comes with an app that's actually not even installed. Um, but I guess I'll show you guys what it comes with. It comes with a file explorer. Comes with an app manager. Comes with a compass. So I guess the compass is pretty neat if you really need to use it, but um, the messaging icon I noticed is a little different. It looks kind of weirder in my opinion, but the stock icons are smaller. I don't know how to explain that, but look at the browser icon and look at the root checker icon. They're, I don't know, they're, they're smaller. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, but let's go to the camera. What's the camera? Let's go to camera. Now the camera is an 8 megapixel camera and it takes pretty decent pictures actually. See we have our touch to focus, hit menu, Sorry. we have our little effects up there, we got settings, and see we do have HDR which is pretty nice. We have switching, Let's see, so we have a lot of options that you don't really figure would be there on a pretty low end phone. By low end I mean price range not specs. Um, specs. Think of a Galaxy S3, where it has the S4 dual core. You know, it's a pretty fast phone. It does have a 4.7 inch 720p screen, just like the Galaxy S3, and it has the same processor. Let's go to settings, and you have this common settings. So again, like my UI. So if you really want to use these first, you have those, which is always pretty nice, and so I was just making sure it was in focus. So the dual SIMs. This does have dual SIM card slots. I have my T-Mobile SIM card in there right now. See right there. Hit back. Now we have our mobile networks where you can change your APNs. Not up where you can change your APNs, network operator stuff like that. Wi-Fi. Go to more. Now I didn't see NFC, which. Kind of disappointing, but I don't really use NFC that much, to be honest with you, so, yeah, not really that big of a deal. Under sound, again, not really anything out of the ordinary, but if we scroll down, we have a power saving option, just like in, um, what was it, HTC or Samsung, I don't remember. But if you go under battery, we can show the battery percentage, just like in, right there, check the battery percentage, we can show that, just like in HTC Sense and Samsung. What I thought was pretty neat was the scheduled power on and off. Now, I have not messed with this, but, you know, I'm probably going to. But you can choose when this phone actually turns off and then when it turns back on. Now, I'm not sure how it knows when to turn back on if it's off. So I have a feeling it's just kind of like a sleep mode of a sort. But again, that's you don't see that, and that's a really neat feature. And then we have airplane mode. So you see it's scheduled for 11 p.m. when you basically go to bed and then 7 when you wake up but not my schedule but you know so I mean it has scheduled stuff like that that just I mean it's kind of brings up neat features for really cheap phones then we have language and input restore developer options we do not have a list of developer options at all on this phone if you got a model number or build number I mean and you tap on it it says no need you're already developer, but I don't really have much there. So I was thought, you know, I don't know. But let's go ahead and open up the app tray again. 
So again, pre-stock, showed you guys we had FM radio, we have torch. But again, what I thought was neat is if you lock it, and you actually unlock it, and you press and hold volume down, it turns on the torch. I'm pretty sure you guys can see that. But it turns on the torch. That is awesome. And then you just go ahead and unlock it, and it turns it off. But most phones don't have that feature right out of the box. And that's, yeah, it's cool. So let's go ahead. You guys may notice this phone is fast. I mean, there's just no lag at all on this phone. But, I don't know. For $230, I think it's a great phone. It's a great deal. I mean, it's basically a Galaxy S3 for half the price. Actually, mine is half the price, but, you know. Um, let's go ahead and lock it, actually. So I talked about the screen. It is a 720p HD screen. If you like the Galaxy S3 screen, you're going to like this screen. It has menu home and back. Flip it on over to the back. You have that flash. We have our 8 megapixel camera. Got subtle blue branding. I can get this in focus. You have the volume rocker and the power button on one side. Let's see if it's focused. We have nothing on that side. On the top, we have our headphone jack and our charging. Let's go ahead and pull off the back for you guys. So the back is pretty yeah, pretty flimsy, but we have an 1800 milliamp hour battery. You do have an SD card slot. I'm pretty sure it accepts up to 64 gigs, but I don't know. I'll have to check into that. We have our micro SIM card slot, which I have my T-Mobile. Then we have a regular. Now, I was going to use my at t for the regular, but it's a micro SIM, so I couldn't really do that. Now, the speaker, it's not that great, to be honest with you. Um, let's go ahead and put this phone down. And let's bring in my Droid DNA. So... Your DNA is a 5 inch screen, you guys know that, but the Blue Life Play is definitely thinner. <laughs> That's not, it is definitely thinner, definitely smaller. Let's bring in my Razer Max HD. So again, it is thinner and it is, oh, it's a little bit bigger actually. Um, my HTC One is laying on my desk, so I can't really bring that over, but see we have Android 4.2 and yeah, I noticed that it kind of like expands over the little lock icon. Not really anything big, but kind of has the Android 4.1 lock screen, which again, I thought was, yeah. But you do have your quick settings, and I mean, that's basically it. I don't really know what to say about it. I mean, <laughs> it's a fast phone. I'm not going to do a benchmark because they're worthless, but I mean... If you guys want to really see anything else about this, I will be having some more videos on this phone because I definitely think it's worth buying because it's $230. I'll post a link below to Amazon where you can buy this. And it's definitely a great option for those that want a Galaxy S3. You know, phones that can actually compete with phones like the HTC One, but they don't want to spend $700 on a phone like I can. Well, I can't, but, you know. So, I mean, yeah, it's a great option. Honestly, I would buy this phone. I did buy this phone. <laughs> Never mind. It's kind of terrible. But, you know. but, I mean, yeah, if you guys want to know anything else about this, maybe I'll upload some camera picture tests. Like, on, I don't know, upload on Dropbox or something so you guys can see them, like, full res. But if you guys want to see anything, like, just let me know. And I'll try to get on that. If not, I, if I don't post it on my main channel, I'll post it on my second and just link it in the description or something. I don't know. But, again, if you guys want to see anything else about this phone, I have it. Just let me know. And let's go to battery real quick. Because, when, when did I unplug this? Battery. We are at 95%. I did, uh, when did I unplug this? So, it's been on battery for one hour. So that's not bad. Screen on time is nine minutes. So it's not that great. But if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps me out more than you know. And I'll see you guys in the next video.